So the last meeting with you, kind of the one-year anniversary for the uh, DEI plan has passed. So, you know, how do you think, um, you know, the progress has been going and, um, you know, how has its ex execution really been performed over the last year? Sure. So I think the best way of answering that is to highlight next week's summit. Mm -hmm. So we have a diversity, equity, and inclusion summit with multiple events through the week, which will include uh, Rob Sellers and myself um, sort of releasing our report on the first year which has both a summary and then a whole bunch of individual reports from all the schools and colleges that lays out each of their objectives and reports on progress over the first year. Uh, so if I had to say in general, I think the uh, initiative is off to a good start, but you know, there's a huge amount of work to be done. And uh, there are some things that are immediate and short term, and there are other things that we start now and we're going to have to continue for a long time. And there's still other things that we learn about and decide there are better ways to do the things that we started doing. Mm -hmm. So it's very much a, a living and continuously renewing plan. Um, so some of the things I'm most excited <coughs> about is we've got a number of pipeline programs up and running, including Wolverine Pathways that works with uh, uh, students in 7th through 12th grade, and it's after school and weekend and summertime, and at the end, if they... Uh, do well and they get admitted to the university, we promise them a generous scholarship at the end. And then we're launching, or we've launched the Go Blue Guarantee in January, which is designed to promote socioeconomic diversity on campus. And when you get socioeconomic diversity, you also get geographic diversity and all different kinds of diversity come along with that. So those things are going well. And the schools and colleges are working on their local plans to work on the, the climate locally in each of our schools and to uh, um, sort of gauge how well uh, we uh, appreciate um, and address issues of difference between humans. So there's a inventory work has been done, a diversity inventory work has been done in, in the dorms. Uh, so there's a lot of activity. Uh, another big thing we'll talk about at the summit was one of our major goals of the first year, which was a campus climate survey. Mm -hmm. And we'll uh, be releasing the results in the coming days. I believe we're set for Thursday for a press avail availability on this climate survey. And I really hope that you or someone from the paper can come. Because it asks the question, you know, how are we doing? What's it like to be a student or a faculty or a staff member here at the university? And, you know, the disappointing but not surprising, I guess, is that different people experience this campus very differently uh, based on where they're coming from. So. I think those results are very important to show us where to focus our efforts to establish a baseline that we can use to track whether we're improving the campus climate. Mm -hmm. And the end goal is to have each individual here, no matter where they come from, uh, have uh, equal opportunity and a similar quality of experience. They feel like they're being treated equitably and being a full member of this uh, large and diverse community. Programs are up and running in each of the schools and colleges that are designed to purposefully increase the diversity of the faculty, to use legal means, but to uh, purposefully look for scholars uh, that uh, enhance the study of or um, the environment for uh, diversity and inclusion on campus.